Dear fellow colleagues, welcome back to the UEG Week Congress TV. Now I have the pleasure to introduce you to the Sunday Science Slam. On my right, I have uh, Dr. Savarino from Italy, and on my left side, I have Dr. Ronnie Fass from the USA. And the question of the day is going to be PPI, long term use, should we be afraid? This question is important since a lot of patients are getting PPIs just for any stomach or headache. Okay, so let the game begin. Thank you. PPI adverse events is a might or a legend, as you prefer to consider. There is no evidence in medical literature suggesting that PPI may lead to severe advanced events in patients who take them appropriately. Only two settings have to be taken into consideration and uh, considered with caution to prescribe. Old old patient hospitalized with comorbidities and patient with liver disease. Otherwise, there is no way that PPI may cause adverse events. The last paper published on gastroenterology show data from a randomized control study with a three-year follow-up and demonstrates that there was no increased incidence of adverse events com uh, comparing to population taking PPI or placebo after three years. So this is a further demonstration that there is no evidence about adverse events related to PPI. So I will cover PPI adverse event reality. First of all, when it comes to adverse events today in the US, uh, they're so common when it comes to medications, not only specifically for PPIs, and they account today for the fourth reason for highest cost uh, in the country. Now, when it comes to PPI adverse events, what we created is what I call the perfect storm. When you have a combination of uh, a commonly used and abused medication, in the case of PPI, uh, we see in many countries that up to 70% of the patients get inappropriately PPI prescribed. And in addition, PPIs are one of the highest prescribed medications in many countries in the world. This situation obviously brought tremendous attention to this, group of uh, to this group of medications. And as a result, we see today a, an everyday growing list of uh, side effects that are related to PPIs. Now, when it comes to PPIs, adverse events, the fact is that it filtered down to patients. And every one of us today, when we go to the clinic, we see patients that uh, request that they will be taken off PPIs. So the bottom line here, while I do agree that when it comes to the literature, the data to support PPI adverse events and concern about it is relatively weak, at the end of the day, it comes to our patients, and for them, it's reality. So patients, when it comes to PPIs, are highly concerned, and they would like, many of them, to see if there are any other therapeutic options instead of PPIs. Thank you.